Welcome, this is Joshua Benoist in Autodesk Product Support. We're on video 25 where we're talking about beveled takeoffs. Here's the problem statement. Pause that if you need to. Okay, so we were working on this here. And I think I added half inch, one inch, and two inch there. Um, this is a a uh, calculation. Notice that's grayed out. Those are all calculations also. Notice that's grayed out. So you can't edit them. Um, I think we're done with size parameters. You know, you may want to take this all the way up to 96 inch sizes and things like that. But um, for the purposes of the video, we're good enough. So there's a couple other cleanup things to do. Notice down here, um, it says part family validation successful. Uh, if it's ever read, you can click on this, and it tells you what the errors were, and you can fix them. Um, one of those errors, and I, I happen to do this um, with the video paused, but it, I had an error, and it said basically you need to generate uh, an image, generate a bitmap. So you click on that, and you tell it what view or perspective you want to see this from. Um, so you can switch around, kind of get a feel for what it looks like, and say OK. Or you can browse and choose your own bitmap if you want. I'm going to say that's OK. So we've got ourselves a bitmap. You can force it to check your validation. It stays good. I'm going to save my part. I'm going to go into the options here. So Oftentimes this hide part flag is thrown. You want to make sure that's off. Do we want to allow custom sizing? Yes. Do we want to use this in auto layout? Um, this one's questionable because it goes from rectangular to round. I'm going to say OK. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, that's fine. It's just saying, hey, connector 1 and 2 are going to be the same. OK. So save it one last time. Let's exit. Cross our fingers and pray it doesn't break. <laughs> uh, let's go to the Home tab. And I'm going to click on this one to insert a custom fitting. And we're going to come down here, and here's our beveled to round one right there. So let's go to Part Filter, and let's just say I want this to be a 12 inch diameter one. And notice. These are the ones that I said make visible. You know, I, I I want this to be real small, length A1. That's that. That's this dimension right there. Length A2 is the next dimension, and I'm gonna just go ahead and say uh, four inches is fine. And this length A3 right here, um, we'll say that's okay at one inch. And come over here and insert the part. And there it inserted my part. Hey, look at that. Um, it made the contour disappear, and that may be a little bug. I don't know. Let's see here. So I'm going to draw a duct off of this, and it's given me a round. So it looks like I'm successful here. And yeah, make it a little bit longer. Beautiful. So we've managed to transition from a rectangle um, to a round here all in one piece. And of course, it's making our line hidden there. Um, let's see if we can clear that up, maybe. Come here and say, this is the same as the OBJ rel update. I hit enter and select all. Um, it may not like the fact that these are the same diam um, this diameter is the same as this guy. So let's reduce his size. Um, or let's see if, see what happens if we insert a slightly smaller part. So, duct fitting add. I'm going to do that guy. I'm going to go to part filter. Let's make this slightly smaller. Let's just put a 10 incher in there. Okay. And move this dialog out of the way. There. That's what it is. So, when these contours are exactly the same, it's not creating that line, um, but it's creating the line in this case. And we got to have teeth on here, you know, those, the teeth.